sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new here, welcome. Recently I made a Christmas sampler and this was one of the blocks that is in my list of video tutorials. It's called Old Maid's Puzzle and I really wanted to try it with some scraps. So that's what I'm working on today. My blocks are all oriented the same way but at the end of the video I'll show you a couple of other ways that you can lay these blocks out and make a different design with just that one block. So I'm using a lot of different fabrics. I'm having fun digging through my scraps. Let's get started. To make my block, my scrappy block, I need a variety of six inch squares. And I went to my fabrics and I just pulled out some pretty florals. Then I need some background squares that are three inches. This is my three and a half inch selection of scrappy squares from my three and a half inch square drawer. I had a lot to choose from, but after this quilt, I think I'll need to resupply. Then I needed some three and a half inch background squares to make my half square triangles. So I drew a line down the center of a square and I will put it right sides together with one of my three and a half inch square um, scraps and if you're eagle-eyed you can see that I just put the wrong sides together. I'll catch that later when I'm pressing and I'll fix it but it was kind of funny I didn't notice that at the time. So I'll make a lot of these half square triangles. I'll need six for each of my blocks and as I was sewing along here right when I was getting going of course my bobbin thread uh, ran out so I need to fill my bobbin and get started again. After getting my machine ready to go again, I just went to work and got a lot of half square triangles made so that I will have a lot to choose from. So after sewing on both sides of my pencil line, I cut through the middle and then I will press and I will trim all of these to three inches. the block that I realized I had sewn on backwards so I'm gonna rip it out real quick and sew it right sides together and move on. Now that I have a whole lot of half square triangles to choose from, a nice variety, I'm going to cut my six inch square in half diagonally and start putting my block together. I need two three and a half inch squares cut in half diagonally and then I will also need two of those half square triangles to do the first part of this quilt block. So one of my triangles here I'll start with and then I'll take the two 
triangles that I just cut, two of those, choose a half square triangle and sew this all together. As you can see here, I'm taking that top corner of those background triangles and lining it up with the corner of my half square triangle. And it hangs off the edge at the bottom there. That gives me room for the seam that I'll be adding right now. After making those two blocks, now I need a four patch using my half square triangles. I need four of these. I'll make, so it was kind of fun to go through and choose the different fabrics I'll use. And I'll make two four patches using my half square triangles and three inch squares that I had set aside. All four pieces of my quilt block are ready to go now. I will press each of my little pieces here and I'm going to put them together. But first I will trim and just make sure that they all measure five and a half inches. a pretty selection of blocks on my design wall. I'm going to keep making blocks and my plan is a quilt that is 55, 50 inches by 50 inches so I'll need 25 of these blocks 5 by 5 and um, I'll just keep sewing and trimming. This is such a pretty quilt and I I think by the time I'm done with it, I will need to resupply my three and a half inch square drawer with some more pretty fabrics so that the next time I'm making a quilt, they're all ready to go. It's kind of fun to have those squares ready to go when I am ready to make a quilt.
included at the end here a couple different ways that you can orient your quilt blocks. Some of the um, designs make the, your quilt look like it has stars and mine will not be like this. I'm just going to lay them out all the same direction so it'll just be a lot of pretty scraps all lined up. Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Thank you.